Hello there, this is Randall Schwartz back again with another tip or trick or technique about some sort of flutter-related thing or dart-related thing. Today is no exception. Sorry I've been gone for a few weeks, but I'm back again, hopefully to get out a few more things over and over again. So, let's talk today about things involving RiverPod providers and generating files, building files, how not to be afraid of the builder. Now, I use VS Code, so today's discussion will be about two extensions for VS Code that make building a whole lot easier. If you're using something that's not VS Code, you'll have to go look for those on your own. They won't be discussed in this video. I type in my RiverPod provider, and it's going to give me the value of pi. Isn't that interesting, right? Uh, 355 over 113, that's clearly one possibility for it. The best thing you can do with a, a couple of small integers. And I have a problem, though, because this is a generated provider. It needs to be operated on by Build Runner. Now, I've already set up all of my files that are necessary for this, all my stuff in PubSpec, I'm not going to go through all that, but I want to show a couple of easy tricks about running Build Runner for anything you might want to do it for. In this case, what we want to do is we want to run Build Runner once. We need to generate this .g file. It doesn't exist, obviously. And of course, that also breaks other things as well. If we look over in our files, sure enough, there is no pi provider g file there. So, I am going to press Command Option B for Build. And this is running one style of doing it. What that does is it runs Build Runner for only the current file. Wow, that is so much faster than waiting for a full watch or a full sweep. And if we look down at the terminal, down at the bottom, we see that it actually ran Build Runner running only on this particular file. That was slick. That's what generated this file for us. So that's one way to do it. And I'll talk about how to install the extension for VS Code that takes care of that in just a minute. Let's instead delete this again. Okay, it's gone. Move the trash. And we're back to where we started before. Uh-oh, we need to build this file. Well, there's another extension I've installed down over here, Build Runner. Notice in Build Runner, we have the current project, Builder Demo, and we have a couple of icons over here. So this will show up in this window. It will show up all the possible uh, directories, all the possible folders in which you could build something. And so uh, we have two options here. One of them runs Build Runner just once. So let's go ahead and run that. And I didn't have to type this command in. It just ran it. Okay, nice. Now, again, we're back to our best state here. All is good, right? Or, let's do it one other way, is, again, without trying to remember the command that it takes to run Builder with Watch going on, we can click over here on the far right side. Watch. Okay, now we have a second window, a second terminal window, whose job is to simply run watch all the time behind the scenes. So if I come in here and maybe change this to 22 over 7, or 22, yeah, 22 over 7, right, and hit save, boom, our watch kicks in and takes care of it that way. So what I like to do is not have a watcher run in the background. Instead, every new file that needs to be built I go ahead and use the first method where I say build it just this one file. But then just to make sure before I commit the git and push it, I run the full broad one from the little window down here. These are both really handy. Where do I get those? I get those from these two extensions, Dart Build Runner, and I'll put the uh, details in the uh, show notes. And the other one that does command option B on the Mac, at least, I don't know what it is in other platforms. Sorry, I don't use other platforms. From our friend Luke Baghetti, this is the one that just runs the current file. Both of those are wonderful. Been using these for months. I never fear running build anymore. Lovely.
So I hope you enjoyed that, and please feel free to like all the things, subscribe all the things. I now have an active Patreon account, so you can go ahead and contribute to me if you really like to see more and more of these things. And let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Thanks a lot. This is Randall, signing off.